right, so this person wants to save, so they want to have $5,000. That's the end amount. 20 years, that's the T. They're getting a 7.25% interest rate, probably, you know, from some sort of investment. Compounded monthly, that's 12. How much do they have to put in there? All right, so looking for P. So now this one can be a little tricky to deal with because when I go through and do this, It can look like, all right, it can look like that I need to um, use the logarithm, but I don't because, all right, because I'm not looking for the exponent. So since I'm not looking for the exponent, I do not need to use the logarithm, all right? So what do I do here instead? Well, I'm just going to take this whole chunk of information right here with not the P, but the rest of it. And I'm going to put it into the calculator. All right. You're going to hear my dog bark because the UPS man is here while I'm making this video. But um, I'm going to put this in one plus. All right. And I'm going to put in 0 0.0725 over 12 to the 12 times 20. All right. Gives me 4.244. So this is now 500,000 equals P times 4.244. And I'm just going to divide by that 4.244. It's going to tell me what I would have to put in there. Just a small amount of money, I'm sure, to have $500,000. All right, so 500,000 divided by that. Hundred and seventeen thousand, so one one seven seven nine seven point five four. Okay, so just a small amount of money, but again, if you think about that, you're putting in one hundred and seventeen thousand dollars, and in twenty years, you're doing nothing at all. You're just leaving it there, and you're getting five hundred thousand dollars back in twenty years. It's pretty good, all right. It's actually went up. It's full multiplied by four since you originally put it in there, which is a really, really good rate of return um, considering, you know, what interest rates are actually doing right now when I'm making this video.